Well, good morning. I've been sitting here waiting and pondering whether I wanted to do a different title uh, for this or include what I'm going to include. I've decided to include it in the, the title that I already have. Uh, anyway, the title that I have uh, for this video is Was My Life Goal an Impossible Mission? From earliest childhood, I was told that with God, all things are possible. I'd still like to believe that is the truth, though I have to question it at this stage of having lived over 69 years on planet Earth. I even have to question whether God is real or not. I don't like doing that. For me, if there is no God, there is no purpose either. Anything goes. Obviously, when doing my best to look at the world as, it, as objectively as I can, there are no rules in force. The big one, do unto others as you would have others do unto you, would be a good place to start. Those who seem to be in control of the world, if that were the case, have long been crying out to God, kill me, us. This is obvious since they kill with impunity. Are they therefore asking to be put out of their misery in a not so subtle manner? Personally, I'd like God to make that seemingly impossible mission become a reality. Take out the demons and the people who align with them, whoever they may be. Wouldn't that be a realistic place for God to start if he, she really wanted peace on earth? I've been pondering very heavy questions, especially since being forced out of my home. Because it seems to make my what I've always believed my mission to be more difficult, if not completely impossible. Uh, I need, as I've said, a place to live where I feel safe and secure and where I feel I'm not hurting somebody else by being there as I do in my current situation of wearing staying with my son. He's a good man. He has a lot of uh, high ideals and desires, the same as I do. He doesn't see everything exactly the same as I do. He does think that the world needs to be have the good and evil juxtapositioned against each other and the fact that evil seems to be dominant while it may not be his highest choice he thinks that it's in perfect order uh, a lot of people feel that way i don't i've never felt that way i've always felt that the evil in this world uh, needed to be dealt with and dealt with decisively uh, i don't mind allowing free will and for people to exercise free will, but there's a limit to free will, and again, it's do unto others as you would have others do unto you. It's treating others as you want to be treated, and when you treat others with impunity, when you treat others as if they have no rights, as if they uh, are morons or not even real or corporate, corporate entities, this is the most evil thing that could possibly take place anywhere in any existence at any time and why it would be allowed to continue for as long as it has and in my opinion i i agree with anastasia it's been 10 millennia at least at least 10 millennia that's 10,000 years of rule by dark entities and as some people say that the time is up they get more and more in uh scared and more and more tighten, tightening their grip on on the control that they want to place because of fear and when we're afraid we tend to we tend to react in certain ways that are not necessarily the highest and best for for everybody else we become very selfish and it's a very delusional frame of mind when you're completely motivated by fear. And right now, I have lots of fear going on in my life. 
And as you know, I've uh, been wanting to take a stand uh, in the legal issues of uh, them taking my home. Uh, but I got this this comment on, I, I don't know whether it was on, on one of my recent videos. Let's just put it that way. It was on one of my recent videos from someone that I've known for over 20 years. Uh, and she wrote, Ron, as a paralegal for 22 years, bless her if she's actually helping you. But it seems like she's dangling a carrot for dollars. You were told, quote, she has talked with the appeal court and the local court made a terrible error in taking my home, end quote. She does not talk to the appeal court without a hearing, so she likely talked to no one. The appeal court doesn't have informal chats with counsel. I hate to see you being given the runaround. Everyone wants their dollar. Courage, dear brother. And that comment is why I sat here thinking and not starting my video right away, because did I want to make a special video just on that alone? Now, I did talk to my attorney yesterday. I called her, and she had a lot going on, and ended up I ended up talking with her significant other more than I was actually talking to her, I believe. And uh, she was involved with uh, things that were going on in the house with other people, and I didn't get to talk to her much, but she assured me that she had talked to the appeal court and everything was still good. Uh, but then I get this, this letter from a friend, or this note from a, from a friend, and it makes me wonder, now is this an impossible mission of trying to recapture my home? Uh, I have felt that I needed legal help. A lot of people have been giving me suggestions uh, of things that I can do, uh, and I have to explore some of those. There's a lot on my plate right now of trying to bring some sense of stability to my life. And this thing, if, if, if indeed I am being strung along, and it does, and I sit here and meditate on it, it does appear that way because prior to the little, to the brief conversation that I had with her yesterday, the previous two conversations where she actually called me, she was requesting more money. Uh, and then two weeks after the, the first suggestion, I hadn't heard from her. The phone number was disconnected. It was not no longer in service. I couldn't reach her. And then all of a sudden she calls me and she gives me a, a, a new phone number. And, uh, And I uh, talked with her, and again, she wanted more money. And so I sent her more money. I sent her $600 in a little over two weeks. But there's been no paperwork worked on mutually together. There's been nothing done in regard to the case. Is it a mission impossible? Am I expecting something from someone that is not going to deliver? It's the question. Now, I've been dealing with a God. Who doesn't seem to deliver? Am I also dealing with an attorney who cannot do what has been promised to me? I'm tired of broken promises. That's what makes the mission impossible because people don't keep their word. People don't have integrity. And I've tried to live the best of my ability with integrity in my life. I've tried to say what I feel and say what's going on in my world and tell the truth. But I, most people don't live like that. Most people are politicians. Most people say what is expected, what they expect you want to hear rather than the truth. And so this is the, the, the dilemma that I face as I try to sort out all the things that are going on in my life and in the world around me and the lives of my friends. Once again, I'm going to ask for prayer. I'm going to ask for wisdom. Uh, uh, some of some people have given me, there's been a couple of people that have given me small donations. I appreciate that very much. Uh, but I do need help. I'm asking for help and asking again for prayer. Thank you.